Hey guys, uh, this is Mr. Barthold speaking, and I am going to make a video on how to graphically add vectors like we've been doing. I know a lot of students have been, there's a lot of steps, and it's very involved, and there's a lot of places to go wrong, and students have been, uh, been struggling with that, I've noticed. And so I'm putting this video up on here for y'all to use as a study aid, and you can watch it over and over. If uh, at any time I may be going too fast, feel free to pause the video and um, you know if I'm going to assume you're, you are comfortable with actually measuring the angles and drawing that out. If not, I made another video on that that should be posted and you can check that out as well. So uh, we're just going to start with a very uh, basic problem. So we have two vectors that we're going to add. Remember, a vector, remember the Despicable Me video we showed, the vector has two parts both direction and magnitude direction and magnitude and so in this case the magnitude um, is the strength of that vector like the magnitude of an earthquake and so in this case the strength of the vector 4 newtons 5 newtons those are our magnitudes the direction is the angle at which that strength or th that vector is pointing so whenever you're solving these you know the goal is to find what the net force is, the combination of these two forces. And so that net force is a vector. And so you're, we're trying to look for both the direction and the magnitude of that net force. All right, so we're going to do that very step by step. Um, so that way, you know, y'all can practice and uh, use this at home. So um, if you all remember, our first step is to determine some sort of scale, because we have to draw these to scale. Um, remember, a, a stronger force, uh, if it, there's a larger magnitude, that vector, that arrow, has to be longer to signify that it's bigger. And so uh, to do that, we just kind of look at our numbers, and you know, we have 5 newtons and 4 newtons. And so we're trying to set a scale such that one centimeter is going to equal blank newtons. All right? And we want to make sure that our vectors aren't too short and they're not too long. In this case, you know, the scale can be very straightforward, and I did that intentionally. And so we're just going to use a very simple one centimeter equals one newton. And I'll vary the scale in later problems, so, so we'll get to practice with that. <clears throat> so each centimeter long that I draw represents one newton. So for our first force, our first force is 5 newtons long, so 1 centimeter equals 1 newton, 5 newtons, that means it has to be 5 centimeters long. So uh, our next point, um, point is to draw a dot, which is going to represent the start of our first vector. And so I'm going to go ahead and just draw mine right about here. And from here, we simply measure out uh, the angle and draw it the correct length of our first vector. So we're going to take our protractor, we're going to put that dot here, measure 25 degrees, remember we're using the inside numbers, so 25. Once we get that angle, we can mark it, which I did, and now we have to measure 5 newtons, 1 centimeter per newton, so 5 centimeters long. So here's 0, here's 5, and this is a vector, so I'm going to draw a little arrow at the end. Alright, so once we do that, we are going to move on to our second vector. If you need more time to do this on your own, feel free to pause the video and uh, start it whenever you're ready to roll again. <clears throat> so our second force is 4 newtons at 112 degrees. So again, our scale is 1 to 1, so this one is going to be 4 centimeters long, and it's going to be at 112 degrees. So now, the trick, remember, this vector is not going to start from the dot. I know we also talked about a parallelogram method and you know that was giving students a lot of trouble so we're, we're kind of switching to this it's a different it's a different way to add it and we're going to start our second vector from the end of the first one so from this vector right here that's going to be where we place our pro where we're going to have to measure our angle from okay and so you still want to make sure that you're measuring it horizontally you do not line the protractor up like that. You know, in line with the last vector, you know, well, you know, here is the last one, so we gotta line it up with that. No bueno. It has to we're still measuring 
with respect to um, to the right of our initial problem. You know, if we lined up our problem, and this is the horizontal part of our paper, obviously you see all the lines. So make sure that your protractor is still horizontal there. We're going to measure out 112 degrees, because that, that is the direction of our vector. So 112. So we'll you know where that's at. And we're going to draw our vector. Oops, excuse me. We have to make sure that we draw at the right length again. Four newtons, four centimeters. So for here is our angle mark, and we're going to draw that as so. So now, one thing I forgot to do on the first one, so I'm make sure I do it on this one. We need to label every vector. Each problem that you do for me, where you're adding vectors, I expect that each vector is labeled so I know which one is which. I mean, clearly I'm going to know, but if you were to turn this into to any person, you know, if you were to do this in some sort of engineering application, you just hand this to your boss, and they're not, he's going to be like, you know, what, what is this? What do, these, what do these lines mean? So you need to label them. So this one was our force one, and this was um, five newtons. If you want to put, you know, five, also five centimeters, you're welcome to do that. This is force two. This one was four centimeters long, which stood for four newtons. Now, once we finish with all of, our, all of our forces, and in this case, we only had two, so we're done. So now we want to know what the net force, the combination of these two forces. So we had, you know, if we imagine our object here in the middle, you know, this could be, you know, some sort of tug of war. Um, remember, we did that little demonstration with the rope in class. So if someone was pulling it at this angle, 25 degrees, and someone was also pulling it at 112 degrees. The combination of these two is going to be just simply from our dot to the end of the last vector. So I'm going to do this in a different color to, uh, to uh, I guess, separate it from the other vectors. So from our dot to the end of the last vector is going to be our net force, the combination of the forces. A little off. But and again, we need to label this. This is actually the most important one to label. This is our F net, our net force. And now remember, at, at the beginning I said each problem I want to know, or the point of these problems is to find out what the strength, or excuse me, what the magnitude, and what the direction of that net force is. So whenever you turn in a problem, you know, you should have something, you know, something like, okay, F net equals blank newtons and or at blank degrees direction and magnitude so how do we determine the magnitude well we set up our scale so that one centimeter is one newton so if we just measure this we see all right well this is let's see six point six centimeters long so six point six centimeters and our scale, each centimeter is one newton. So 6.6 .6 times one is just 6.6. .6. So our net force is 6.6 .6 newtons. And the direction, again, we always measure with respect to the horizontal um, on the paper. And so here's our zero. Our direction is looks like it's about 63, six, we'll call that 64 degrees. So 6.6 newtons at 64 degrees. So whenever we combine these two forces, the net force acts in this direction with this strength. All right, so you turn this into me, man, this is, this is awesome work. Everything is labeled. I know exactly what the net force is. It's a different color. I see the, uh, the direction and the magnitude of your net force. You even showed me the scale. This is very neat, and uh, hopefully uh, any problem that you do Will be uh, will be exceptional. So if you need to replay this video as many times as you need to to, to relearn it, I'm going to do another one with two more practice problems, and uh, I hope uh, I hope we got something out of this. Take care.